For the last month, it has been the site of death and destruction. Lac Megantique's Music Cafe, where dozens of people were killed by a fiery train derailment. Today, it became a symbol of resilience and community, reopening in a temporary location. The CBC's Thomas Daigle has been on this story since day one. He's in Lac Megantique again tonight. Thomas. Peter, this is what the new music cafe looks like, a stage, a few tents. Tonight, the first celebration since this town was devastated four weeks ago. In a town that has lost so much, the rebuilding starts here, giving new life to a bar, a cornerstone of the community reduced to rubble. Each person uh, uh, feel sad and alone, so uh, and they don't have a place. You know, the music cafe was the soul, uh, was a big, big family, and they miss it. Many of the train disasters, 47 victims died at the music cafe. Bar staff and patrons out on a warm summer night. Police found 42 bodies through weeks of searching. <laughs> Yesterday, they stopped looking. A sign for many people here that it's time to start moving on. This is a very important and key time, I think, for this community. People are waking up out of shock. Uh, we've been in shock and, uh, and walking around kind of numb. In the afternoon, for the first time in a month, the drinks started flowing at the music cafe. As the night went on, more people started filing in. Lisa Kirion knew 40 of the people who died, many of them music cafe regulars. Tonight, she says, they'll live through us. Alain Wallet hasn't seen this many smiles in a month. This gives people a place to meet again and to, uh, and to start building the, the, the town again. You know, that's, that's very important for the spirit of the community. Bienvenue au Music Café d'été. N'est-ce pas qu'il est magnifique? But amid the celebration, a moment of silence. A time to remember the victims. A reminder the road to healing won't be easy. I can tell you from uh, being here right from day one, Peter, that the mood really has changed. Uh, today was the first day I heard so many people say they were happy or excited. But of course, in the back of everyone's mind here, the tragedy will never go away. All right, Thomas, thanks very much.